Hello friend, my name is Maudi Promise. Welcome to another interesting class on basic science. Our topic for today is family traits. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to define traits, classify traits into different groups, mention some traits that run in your family, define genealogy, state the importance of family genealogy, and lastly, explain heredity. As you go about your daily activities, people may pass comments such as, you look like your father, mother, brother, or sister. They may even say that you look like someone in your extended family, such as an uncle, auntie, grandparents, etc. Family members share certain resemblance in height, weight, skin color or facial appearance that make them look alike. Among other living things, we can observe that offspring do share some parental resemblance, although no offspring is exactly the same as their parent or family relation. In science, any difference between two individuals is referred to as variation, while the resemblance that runs in a family from parent to children is referred to as family trait. Family can simply be defined as a group of people that are related to each other and share a common ancestor. The question now is, what are traits? Traits are qualities or characteristics that make us unique. They are distinguishing qualities or characteristics by which a living thing can be identified. Examples of traits include the shape of one's head, one's face, skin color, etc. Some traits are inherited, while some traits are learned. Inherited traits are traits passed from parents to children through genes, while learned traits are traits that are acquired by imitation and practice. They are often influenced by culture and the environment. These different traits can be grouped into different types for easy understanding. Let us look at the types of traits. Inherited traits and learned traits can be classified into the following groups. They include physical traits, behavioral traits, health traits, and blood traits. Let us briefly describe each of these types of traits. Physical traits are traits that are displayed in the physical appearance of an individual. These traits, they are often inherited. Some examples of physical traits include the shape of one's face, forehead, nose, mouth, or ears, the color of one's hair, skin, or eyes, the size of one's head, eyes, mouth, or nose, next, a person's height, and lastly, albinism. This is a typical image of an albino. This is a disorder where there is little or no color on the hair, eyes, and skin. The next type of traits we will be looking at is behavioral traits. Behavioral traits are traits that are displayed in a person's behavior. They are seen in the way a person behaves and acts. That is to say, they are seen in our actions. Behavioral traits can be inherited or learned. Learned behavioral traits can be acquired by imitation or practice. They are often influenced by culture and the environment. For example, a child may acquire the working style of someone in their family or environment. They can do this through practice and imitation. Moving on, let us look at another type of traits which is known as health traits. Health traits are traits that contribute to one's chances of getting certain type of diseases. These diseases are called 
hereditary diseases. They are passed on from parent to offspring. Some examples of hereditary diseases include sickle cell anemia, hypertension, and diabetes. Lastly, blood traits are traits that determine the properties of one's blood. These properties include blood group, which may be blood group A, AB, B, or O. They can also determine one's genotype, which may be AA, AS, or SS. Also, they can determine the resource factor, which might be positive or negative. The different types of traits that are inherited from parents can run through different families. Now, let us look at family traits. Family traits are qualities or characteristics passed from parents to offspring. They often account for the resemblance shared between parents and their children. For example, you may know a particular parent and you find yourself elsewhere. In that particular place, maybe you observe someone who shares similar resemblance with the parents you know. That close resemblance that makes you not to have any doubt in your mind that that individual is also related to that parent which you know are known as family traits. Some family traits are beneficial and they give us an advantage over others. For example, intelligence, skin color, height, etc. Other traits may not be beneficial because they can cause poor health condition. An example is hypertension. At this moment, we are going to be taking an activity. This will guide us to understand family traits that we share with our parents. This is activity one. Take a good look at yourself and identify some traits you may have inherited from your parents. Now, you are going to get a writing material at this stage. Pause the video and get the writing material. When you are back, I want you to draw this table. On this column of the table is your possible family traits. And this is the source. Did you inherit that family trait from your mother, your father, or both? Then who else in your family share a similar trait? These are different types of traits. Now you are going to fill each of these box by asking yourself the following question. Do you have attached ear lobe? If yes, who is the source of that attached ear lobe? Do your mother or your father or both of them share similar traits? You are going to put your answer here. And who else in your family share a similar kind of trait? Is it your brother? your sister, an uncle, auntie, etc. So you will do the same for the rest of the traits, for behavioral traits and any inherited health traits. Now let us look at the importance of family traits. Knowledge of family traits are useful in different ways. One is that it is used for the detention of abilities and skills in individuals in a family. Two, knowledge of family traits can be used to control and manage hereditary diseases such as hypertension. Three, it helps individuals to make wise decisions when choosing a life partner. For example, people who are sickle cell carriers are advised not to marry a sickle cell carrier or a sickler. Otherwise, such genetic disease will be passed on to their children. And the last one is it is used to trace family members. Traits are inherited from parents to children. And this knowledge can be used to trace family genealogy. Let us look at family genealogy. Human traits are passed from parents to 
offspring. These traits can be traced to older members of a family, and it can be done through observation, family records, and history. This entire process is known as genealogy. So what is genealogy? Genealogy can be defined as the study of one's family history and lineage. Through genealogy, one can know certain traits that run through a family. In genealogy, a diagram is used to show different members of a family. The name of this diagram is known as the family tree. So what is family tree? Family tree is a chart that shows the relationship of members of a family over many generations. Now, let us look at a typical image to illustrate a family tree. This is a typical image of a family tree. In this image, you can insert your name here and insert the name of your dad. Also, you can insert the name of your mom. This is your dad's mother and your dad's father. And also, this is your mom's father and your mom's mother. They are called grandfathers and grandmothers. Your grandfathers and grandmothers also have their own parents, which are indicated here as a great-grandmother, the great-grandfather, the great-grandmother, the great-grandfather, the great-grandmother. And also, the generation repeats as we move upward. Knowledge of family tree is very important in different ways. Now, let us look at the importance of family genealogy. One of the importance of family genealogy is that it is used to trace the birth parent of an adopted child or a missing person. Also, family genealogy can be used to verify stories told about one's family member or ancestors if they are true. Thirdly, knowledge of family genealogy can help get better understanding on an ancestor involvement in some famous historical events. Family genealogy can also be used as a genealogical proof to prove that a person is an heir to an inheritance. Next, it helps to understand a community history of notable families and individuals, the roles which they play. Also, family genealogy can be used to settle the question of land ownership by showing proof of descent. Finally, family genealogy can be used to trace some medical conditions or disorder. Traits are being passed from parents to offspring and also it is expected that the offspring pass that trait to its own offspring. This brings us to heredity. Usually, traits are inherited from parents. Traits are inherited through genes. Genes are tiny units in our chromosome that carry hereditary information. They define the type of trait displayed in an individual. In science, the transmission of traits from parents to offspring is known as heredity. By heredity, it is expected that you have inherited some traits from your parents and also you are expected to pass these traits to your own children. Your children in turn are expected to pass these traits to their own children. This can continue over many generations. With all these, we have come to the end of today's lesson. Before we go, let us take a look at what we have learned so far in a summary. In summary, we learned that traits are the qualities or characteristics that make us unique. We also learned that family traits are qualities or characteristics that are passed on from parents to children through genes. Next, we learned that knowledge of family traits is important in tracing family members 
control of hereditary diseases, etc. We also learned that heredity is the transmission of traits from parents to offspring. And finally, we learned that family genealogy is the study of one's family history and lineage. Now, let us test ourselves with some questions to know how well we have learned so far. Okay. Question number one. Which of the following is not a family trait? A. Skin color. B. Height. C. Walking on two legs. Or D. Air color. The correct answer is C. Walking on two legs. Question number two. Which of these statements is not correct about family traits? A. Family traits provide knowledge on hereditary diseases. B. Family traits are transferred from siblings to siblings. C. Family traits can be used to trace family members. Or D. Family traits are transferred from parents to offspring. The correct answer is B. Family traits are transferred from siblings to siblings. Question number three. An effective study of inheritance of traits through observation, lineage, and history is referred to as DASH. A. Heredity. B. Family traits. C. Family tree. Or D. Family genealogy. The correct answer is D, family genealogy. This will be all for this lesson. I believe you now know how to define family traits and state its importance. You can also define family genealogy and also explain heredity. Thank you for watching. See you in our next class. Bye-bye for now.